Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to do something that I did a couple of years ago. About two years ago I started selling what I called scrap packs. I would take remnants and I would cut them into as many pieces as I could. Well, generally I cut into either four or eight or 16 because I just take the remnant and fold, cut on the fold and then fold again, cut on the fold. And I would put together various packs um, of different size pieces and I really liked doing that and I kind of continued that um, maybe about a year ago. I stopped for a bit and then I started making scrap packs but then I started making them like all the pieces sort of the same size uh, like uh, 10 by 8. Uh, five by eight, five by four. I had different sizes that I would do. But now I'm going back to my original scrap pack and I'm calling them classic scrap packs because I do have remnants again and they're all different sizes. So when I cut those on the fold and fold and cut, I end up with different size pieces. And I just enjoy doing that so much and I love to see the variety that I get and I've been doing it so much that now I'm actually buying fabric on purpose to cut <laughs> into classic scrap packs. And I did two videos a couple years ago where I took a scrap pack. It is the one I'm going to use tonight. But I had one then and I took all the pieces out and I ended up making 20 quilt blocks. I watched most of it, but I don't remember at the end what I did with the quilt blocks. I don't know if they went on eBay. I don't think I put them all together. I don't know. You'd have to go watch those two videos. I will link to them in the description below. But I'm pretty much going to just duplicate what I did two years ago to some extent. I have 63 pieces in this scrap pack. There's no duplicates. This is the classic scrap pack. There's no duplicates and it's a six ounce pack. I price these by weight because I can't judge by the number of pieces because they're all different sizes. So I have a formula per ounce and that's what I go by. And I believe the last time I took those out and I showed you with a template how I you know, could lay them out and then I knew that it would all be able to be trimmed down to an 8 inch square, I think, in that previous video a couple years ago. And this time I'm using a 10 inch square. This is a cardboard that I get when I buy layer cakes and I buy a lot of them. And so I'm just going to have this here. So it's going to be bigger and it might take up more pieces. And this is on eBay at the time that I am recording this. This is October 31st, 2024. So if you're watching in the future, this particular scrap pack will probably not be available if it's way in the future. But who knows, I may still be selling these because I really enjoy them and I've been selling a lot of them. So I know you guys really like it. If you like to make scrappy quilts, this is your thing. It's all new fabric. It's not scrap you know, fabric that I've had in storage forever. It's new fabric, all different sizes, all different prints. And, you know, it's just a cool way to do scrap quilts or crumb quilts, other little projects. If you like to make mug rugs, you know, whatever. It's a good way to get a lot of variety in your stash. 63 different pieces here. So I'm going to show you a picture right now with all the pieces laid out. And then at the end of the video, I'll show that picture again and the close-ups of the other pictures. You can also see all the images on the eBay listing. It's in my store right now. The link is in the description. My eBay name is Darling Misho. And if you can't find it anywhere else, go to my blog, darlingmisho.com, And I always have links in the sidebars to my eBay stuff. And I think I only have six left, so you might want to go grab one. I don't know how much I'm going to accomplish tonight. I'd like to make a couple of quilt blocks, and I don't know if I'll continue with this pack later. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like doing some sewing, and I want to do something that's just nice and easy and relaxing, because I've had a couple of stressful days in the sewing department because of my quilt block of the month series, and I just want to chill now. So, okay. The picture.
All right, you saw that. And that's what is in this pack right here. And I don't remember the price. Go look at the eBay listing. I'm going to take these out. I'm not going to spread them out. I think I did that and sorted them, I think, in my video two years ago. Do go watch that because I might say or do something differently there. I think in that one I, I kind of sorted them into various sizes. I'm not going to do that. And I thought of making wonky, but how about we don't do that one now? I'm just going to try to do like what I did a couple of years ago just to, um, you know, refresh my memory. But I'd like to do more things with my other scrap packs that are on the way. I'm going to have a lot of them and in a lot of different quantities. It doesn't have to be a six ounce pack. It could be a four ounce maybe. I can't go too low because then the shipping makes it not worth me selling with free shipping. But, uh, and I will have some bigger ones. I'm working on one right now that's going to have a hundred different prints. And everything goes to my exclusive shoppers first at the lowest price. Then it goes to the flash sale shoppers at a little bit of a higher price. And then after that, it goes to eBay. eBay, you can buy my stuff if you're outside the USA, but you have to pay the shipping. If you do my um, exclusive shopping deals, I do not send outside the USA. Oh my God, so much to say. I don't want to have to talk about that every single time. I'm just going to look. And I, you know, I like things to be very just mixed up. What I did before is I just used this template. I wouldn't even need that because I have a 10 inch square right here. No, is that outside? Okay, the little inside here. But I'd rather just use this because then I know. And I'm just going to put things... Uh, those leaves look mostly upside down that way. Uh, and I can cut. I can cut some pieces. I will have scraps left over. When I do this, I lay over like a little bit, like um, a quarter of an inch on each. See, I already like that <laughs> because um, of the seam allowance. And let's see if I can have something else here. Maybe I can sew those two together and trim. I want to do stuff with partial seams too, but that has to be done at the sewing machine. And once we get used to partial seams, your whole world is going to open up. All right, let me just put these two together. Let's not be fussy. And then I can trim and uh, I'm not taking it to the sewing machine. I'm just going to sew right there. I just want to show you how easy it can be to put various size pieces together. Now I'm even crooked there and I don't care, see, I just know it's going over the edge so I know I'm going to be able to trim my fabric down to a 10 inch square after the fact. And oh yeah, let me trim this right here. And then I can decide if I want it, you know, here or here. Let's see what we're going to put there. Um, let's do something narrow in the center. Now, see, I'm going to keep this because that might go into another block at some point. Maybe, maybe something this and doesn't have to be that long, but I kind of like the idea of something red. And I want it a little bit longer. How about this guy? All right, I just don't want to be overly fussy. So maybe something like that. Oh my God, there's so much to choose from. Maybe some blue. And let's cut this guy maybe in half on the fold. Put that aside. Yeah, I like that. And... How about something wild and funky? Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to sew these three pieces together. Like that, and then I'll bring in this guy too. Now I have this, and I'm going to trim both these to make them have each a straight edge, and I'm going to sew those together. So this was very simple to put together, and I'm going to trim it now to 10 inches this is good to reuse. Now 
now see how easy this was now it's not a very fancy block it's not too overly scrappy but it's cool you didn't have to like measure things and worry about it I really like it okay let's knock out another one and I like this here um, how about something like this kind of like this let's start like that I'm going to go so here but before I do that let me make my plan I don't want to be going back and forth um, too much let's try to put something here um, that should be able to go there I'm gonna put it up here and do go over your square you can feel it so this way you know you're going to have enough okay I wouldn't really have enough let me put maybe that guy no I'm not loving any of that right now so let me get this guy out the little umbrellas we could do little umbrellas maybe <laughs> I'm having so much fun already. And that. That'll be cool. I'm going to sew these two pieces together. I'm going to sew these three pieces together. And then I will trim them both in the center and sew those together. Now we have this one. This is so fun. And it's so easy. I mean, my goodness. I really would like to finish the pack. I certainly, like I said, won't be finishing it tonight. But we have two 10 inch squares and that worked up so quick and easy. Let's do another one. Gotta do another one. Now I need to be hanging over the edges a little bit more because I find that I'm coming really close after the seam allowances. I haven't been paying enough attention to that. Let's try to incorporate another skinny piece in this one somewhere. You don't have to. If you think it's, you know, not cool to, you know, be dealing with this, um, you can just put these in your crumb box. They're perfect for that. Okay, so I have to make sure I'm overlapping enough and that I'm overlapping the fabric enough. Okay, that can work like that. Um, oh my goodness, I don't even know what I have in here. Oh, I see something yellow with diagonals. Maybe that would be cool. That could be cool, right? I want so much to do partial seams. Hmm. 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 Okay, let's do that. And maybe some blue. Will that be enough? Oh, that... That'll work. Okay, I'm going to start by sewing these two together. And then um, I'm going to move that. So I need something on each side of this. And I can cut. Oh, that'll work. So let me just trim like that. I know there's enough there. And maybe something with blue. I want to see if I can find something that would fit a little bit better without having to do too much cutting. Oh, how about, how about this? Is this going to work? No. Okay, it's surprising how much fabric it takes. This will work, and then I'll trim it after the fact. Sewing these two pieces together, and then I'll sew those on, and then I'll be coming back with these right here. And I'm going to swap these out bright and bright this way okay and I do want to remind you like this piece I have you know quite a bit on each side so I can move it a little bit and then decide you know like I don't want these intersections together so I'm gonna move this one maybe more over that way and like that because who wants matching intersections nobody does so I'm just gonna go and sew 
like that. And if you have something that doesn't work out, we'll just put it aside and use it in your next block. Here's this block, you know, and it can go, of course, in any direction. In my scrap packs, I do not include, um, there's no holiday, there's no solids. There might be some that are modeled like blenders, but I like to go with prints, but there might be a few of those. There's no flannel, there's no batik. And I will state whether or not there are any pieces with pinked edges. Because I do use layer cakes now, I don't take the time now to cut off the pinked edges. It's just, you know, it takes that much more time. So I have started allowing some pinked edges in there. And sometimes your whole pack will be cut from layer cakes. So they'll all have at least one side, maybe two or three sides with pinked edges. And that's up to you if you want to trim those off or if you're okay sewing with pinked edges. So now I have three. And, you know, I'm even saving little scraps like this. I don't think it would go into another block because I don't want them to have, you know, some really tiny pieces. I don't know. I don't want to work that hard. But they'll go in my crumb box for sure. And when you have something, now this, you know, that's, that's pushing it. I'm going to throw that away. But if you have something, you know, like I could use both these pieces... I don't have to uh, use it together. I can cut there and make two separate pieces, but maybe I'll use it as is. One, two, three, all ready. <sighs> Love this. I'm gonna do some more. I made three more blocks. I have so much that I wanna say about how much I love this, but I want to get the video done so you can get it and you can go check out the scrap packs. So I have six total. I'm not going to take pictures of these tonight because I'm tired. Um, but I plan on finishing the scrap pack. And then at that point, I'll probably put these up for grabs on an auction or something. And then you can um, see all the pictures at that point. Now, six blocks. I think I have 33 complete pieces. And I have, you know, some decent little pieces that you can add here and there. So you might be able to make six more blocks. That would be 12 blocks total of 10 inch squares. That's cool. You can see that I used, um, was it this one I had cut? I don't know. I don't know if I had two different prints of that, but it goes like black and white. And I just kept using it. And I have that. In various blocks you can certainly add some of your own fabric especially if you're down to the end I think I did that in the uh, previous videos from two years ago I think I finished in on my last block I just didn't have quite enough so I had to go get a couple pieces of fabric of my own okay uh, this little template it really helps now if you don't have a nice cardboard one like I do from a layer cake just uh, cut a cereal box or whatever you can cut 10 inches, even just a cardboard, like a corrugated, is that what it's called? Cardboard box. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just as long as it's like 10 inches, and it, it's nice to feel. You can feel that you're over the edge, and it's very, very helpful. What's the other thing I wanted to tell you? Oh, yeah, don't worry if your you know, lines are crooked. doesn't matter. See, I... This is very crooked. Look at that. I didn't even notice. I don't know if you can tell, but it's quite crooked there. And like I said, after this scrap pack, we're going to do some where it's really wonky. It'd be more like, maybe like crazy quilt or even crumb quilt, but not um, actual crumbs, but, you know, big pieces. So we're going to do all kinds of different things because I want to keep making scrap packs. So I've got to keep selling them, right? Uh, do go check out the scrap pack I have now. I will have one, but it takes a bit because it's, it has to go through my bulk sale and then my flash sale and then to eBay. And remember, eBay is the higher price. If you want to get good deals on my fabric, you need to join my Patreon at the $10 level per month and you get the lowest prices and still free shipping and all that stuff. But do watch for my classic scrap packs. When it says classic, it's going to be all different sizes. And that is for people who really love to just 
make the puzzle, put things together. Um, the regular scrap packs are all still usually no duplicates. I try to always do one print each and those are usually a uniform size off by maybe a quarter of an inch. I might have some of those on eBay right now. I don't know what I have. Go check out my eBay. I know there were a couple of other things that I wanted to say, but I have six nice square blocks. I will take pictures another time. I will try to finish all of this, and um, I hope you enjoy. And just look around for cardboard. And you can do any size block you want. The other videos, I did 8-inch, I believe. You could do well, 6 inch, you'd really be chopping this up. You could do 12 inches. You could cut a 12 inch square and, and uh, you know, use a lot more pieces. Just have fun with it. And also, use up all your odds and ends of uh, spools of thread that are almost gone, but yet you don't want to throw them away. Doesn't matter what colors you use. I mean, right now I happen to have white, but, uh, you know, I just use up all my thread. I even put my bobbins on the top as the top thread to you know get rid of little bits of different color leftovers stuff like that and this is what I have for scraps so far other than stuff that just really had to go in the trash so there's really not a lot of waste well I'll be throwing that little stringy thing away <laughs> but uh, I love all these things all right, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Go check out my eBay. Link is in the description. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.